Welcome to the first chapter of My Grandad vs. the Fanga Zoo, read for you by the author R.K. Olka. Chapter 1. So close. Gasping for air, he looked from shoulder to shoulder across the beach to the jungle. His black skin was becoming paler, the beads of sweat from his trembling forehead flooding glistening streaks down his dirt-coated face. Beneath the muddy blue and white striped t-shirt was a handsome face, muscular body and blonde hair. He was hobbling, holding a broken branch under his arm as a crutch. His white pants were stained red. A belt was strapped to his left knee to stop the bleeding from his dangling foot. The rocky dock path led out into the ocean and to the right, tied up, bobbing in the crystal clear blue water, was a tiny rubber boat, a dinghy. His heart jumped for joy. With new hope he hobbled to the dockside ladder, dragging his injured foot. He tried to climb down but slipped and fell into the dinghy. The whack! Right on his face! He screamed as he twisted his broken foot. Ah! He gritted his teeth and thought, The noise! Too much noise! Through his muddy blonde hair he kept a keen eye on the trees. With shaking hands, he cast off the mooring ropes. Then he paused. This was it. The noise of the motor would draw it to him. Do not fail me now. Please do not fail me now. He leaned forward, closed his eyes and pulled hard on the ripcord of the dinghy's outboard motor to start it. Brrr. It failed. He tried again. He pulled harder. Brrr, failed! Trees began breaking in the jungle as it smashed towards him. He screwed up his face, closed his eyes and whispered, Please, God, make it start. He was not going to get eaten now, not after his escape. He ripped on the cord with the strength he had left. Brrr, it started! He twisted the hand grip to full throttle and headed out of the harbour into the welcoming blue of the North Atlantic Ocean. The sun on his face and the ocean breeze whispering through his matted hair brought a gigantic smile that had been missing since the battle on the island. He had escaped! He punched the air in triumph and shouted, Ha ha! Made it! With a deep sigh. He smiled until he screwed up his face and cried, Ah! He looked at his leg. His shoulders slumped forwards as he shook his head. What could he do? Had he lost the foot? You have been listening to My Grandad vs. the Fangazoo, written by me, R.K. Olka, published by Eki Thump. If you'd like to buy the book, visit rkolka.com or search for Fangazoo on the internet or Amazon. Thanks for listening. I'll meet you in the book. Copyright R.K. Olka 2022